Hi, welcome to The Roost. I'm Robin Rassett, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Minnesota. And this is um, part of a series that I've been doing on the Wonder of the Season Specialty Designer Series paper. It's part of um, the Wonder of the Season Suite, which has actually two stamp sets and two dies and two Designer Series papers. Let's just um, flip down to my desk so we could take a look at these papers if you haven't seen them yet. And here we are. We've got gold foiled designs and red foiled designs. And they're made to look like old newspapers. So we've got, you know, printing and some ads. And then on the back side, we have black and white newsprint. So the back side works great for doing um, backgrounds and then highlighting the, um, the foiled pieces for the front. So today's card here's the one that I made before. I've got the black and white in the background in a collage and then I've taken one of the bells pieces and highlighted it with some red foil and added one of the um, cutouts from the North Pole Wonder die set that matches the um, Wishes and Wonder stamps. So for today's card, I'm going to start again with the Whisper White card base. And we need to come up with a background. Now we can leave the middle um, undone. Undone? Empty? Oh, my card base is crooked. Hang on a minute. See if we can fix this. I'm not always the very best person at straight. I never have been. So if you get a card for me and it's crooked, please overlook it. There we go. That looks better. Okay, let's start over here. I'm going to lay these out first. I'm going to take these back pieces. Kind of wanna. Oh, this is kind of cute. It says stories. That might stick out a little bit. So I don't want to use the pieces that might have something that I want to use. Oh, here's a good one. That's all. Oh yeah. We'll use this instead. So we have this cool letter, but we don't want too much one thing. This is some different. we might find. Oh, I kind of like that for there. But then that leaves, I wonder if I have any that's, oh, here we go. Maybe we'll switch this around. Cut that off a little bit. We'll put this here. And we need one more little piece. This could work, a piece of this. one you have to save. So you kind of have to make your decisions on which pieces you're going to want to save for something else. Most definitely want to save the reindeer. That one of course can be used. We could use that one. I kind of like one that goes the other direction here. No, but we can't use that. Oh, how about the bottom of this one? Oh, that would be good. Cut this one up here and cut that one like that. Ooh, maybe we could even get this North Pole in here. Uh, probably not. Okay. So as you can see, this is just kind of a, a piecing the puzzle all together. So this one, we're going to want to save the bells. Maybe this first paragraph. That we can use for another card. And then we will use this.
once you have all your pieces the way you want them, you can start adhering them. And remember, every card is going to be different. That's the cool thing, or at least what I think is the cool thing, about handmade cards. Each one is special and unique. And a good portion of this is going to be covered by your focal image. All good. So here's our focal image. I cut out some bells out of the gold side again. Just kind of doing a red on one and gold on the other for you. Before I glue that down, I had found um, a couple of pieces of foil and I cut, cut this out of the rectangle stitch dies. And I'm going to use some bumblebee because I thought that was the closest ink that I had to gold. Let's see if I can center this. Might take a couple tries. Not bad. Try not to smear it. Now we have to decide where we're going to put this. Do we want it here? Like I did, um, let's see, on this one, I had the greeting on top of the sleigh. I think I kind of like it there. I mean, we could put it on the top too. Could center it. It could even be over top of the bells, but I kind of like the bells to stick out. Could be centered. I like it off centered though. We'll leave a little bit of white underneath and we'll hang it off the edge just a hair. And then I thought on the inside, and it looks like I did not clean my stamp the last time I used it, don't really want to put it into the um, bumblebee after it's had black on it. That's the quickest way to ruin an ink pad. Okay. So then we are going to do a bumblebee again, ink, and this is Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now if you had an extra strip of um, gold foil, it would look great across the bottom. Or maybe even if you had some, uh, uh, like here, something like this, you know, that one's not long enough, but just ideas for you. So here we are. Oh, and I actually thought the last card in our last video, I did not share what I put on the inside. And that one, I also used the um, Bumblebee ink. Kind of goes with the gold look, and I just put Believe. So I thought that looked kind of cool. And here's this card finished. Hope you have fun with this collage technique. And I'm going to try one more card if I can get out of the, this is all I have left of the uh, paper other than my full sheets. And, uh, you know, I kind of want to save a few sheets. You never know what might happen. So have a great day. Get those Christmas cards done.